I believe four days of work is more than enough to warrant a two-week vacation, so I think it's time to go home and enjoy the finer parts of life. Okay. Okay. What does one as cultured as me do on a two-week vacation? Let's go out and socialize. Ah, yes, this is where we met her the first time. What is this? Nauseous. Well, we'll drink that away. There they are! Oh my gosh, still here! Has she been telling... Can we please this music? Hold on. She's still here, telling, telling jokes. Days later, that is commitment. I'm gonna show off my muscles. That will court her. Hey, a boy! Ooh, what? new? Did that work? Lombic. Excuse me. <laughs> I will hand you this survey. Can you fill it out and let me know if that worked? Well, she's sitting next to me. It must have. Far be taxi watching. No, wait, no. This isn't a group conversation. This is between A and B, so please leave this group conversation. Thank you very much. Bold pickup line. You're confident. Do it, Rupert. Was that directed at the group? It is way too noisy in this cup. Oh, oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rupert has been shut down. The noise in this club is driving me crazy. They are all talking nonstop. Maybe we should... We should end things here until they get worse. She looks very angry. I look very angry. How are you doing, little Chet? You look like you're doing well. Good thing there's no feeding mechanism or you might die. Again. I don't know why I felt the need to say again. Invite her over. Invite her over. Invite to hang out. Come on, you've got yeah, this, Rupert. She's coming over. Quick, quick, turn on something. Turn on something that will be, ooh, I don't know, that'll be, uh, uh, news. I'll be smart. I'll put on the news. Why aren't you wearing a gown like you were before? That's okay, I'm in my pajamas right now. I'm gonna show off my muscles again, though. Yeah, you like that, huh? It's from running a business. It's my business muscles. Let's do a pickup line. Give that a shot. I heard about those on the internet. So you're like a rose. Like a kiss from the rose is seal, and that's a kiss. And I think it worked. It worked! Fantastic! Time for me to win her over by proving how much smarter I am than her. Offer a rose, and then kiss her hand. Do all of these things. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Fuma Kimba. Borb. Huh? Char. She's all about the rose. Fantastic. Injafibna. Now, here we go. Oh, she's into it. Fantastic. Carzini Pomeray. Oh, Nalabeth. Should I? Dare I? Thanks, Apanai. Well, as the children say, YOLO. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. She looks, uh, uh she looks alright. She's into it. Alright, fantastic. There we go. Kiss first, hug second. Awesome, she's re-gifting the rose. That's a little bit rude, Trinity. I realize you had no time to go get a rose. That has to be the rose I gave you. You are being very rude by giving it back, but we'll ignore that. Television? I'm down. Oh, it smells, yes, it smells like the finest of Italian footwear. Wait. Oh, no, she took a smell of the living room and she left. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Well, it appears the appearance of my living quarters have affected my relationship. I guess I should do what a butler is best at doing. And that is hiring a butler myself. Hello, I need you to clean this apartment. What do you mean it's not an apartment, it's a house? I've, I haven't seen houses this tiny since that one time I took a trip and saw a village. 
No, no, this must be an apartment. A lot of way. Oh, now perfect. Perfect for boating. <laughs> boating, nobody goes boating. You go yachting. We're gonna have a yachting party. We're gonna have a yachting party with some hearties. Ask on a date. Yes, Trinity. Oh, yes, a gym date. That sounds like something a couple on Tinder would figure out to do. Something a young millennial group would do. Not very traditional, but let's do it. My favorite pastime, going to the gym and not working out one bit. Your shoes, are they shoes or are they sandals? Or are they shoes that are supposed to be sandals? What's the deal with your shoes? Can you tell me that? Hey. Hey, what's up? Smooch. Little gym smooch. Whisper sweet nothings. Is that just, are you whispering? Here, here. Sweet nothing. Get it? Boom. Silver medal date. Fantastic. Except I am a Joffrey. Joffreys do not settle for second place. Okay, maybe we have to be boyfriend and girlfriend for that to happen, so I will go ahead and ask. Excuse me. Perfect. It is formal then. I'll submit the paperwork. We'll put our selfie on Instagram so it's official. This is fantastic. I need the massage option. Okay, let's see how this works. Listen, I carry this ring around with me. You never know what's going to happen. Can Samir, can you back out for a minute? Everybody? Everybody, this is about to become a gold medal date. Wait, why didn't it get... Let me... Gold medal date. Here we go. Ready? Uh, I don't know. She doesn't seem so into it. She's into it! She's into it! Best first date ever! What if we go to the next level? Perhaps the next level is what's required. Let's elope immediately. We need to elope immediately. Then we might be able to massage. Okay, come on. This might... This is... We're running out of time, and this needs to be a gold medal date. Jim, Jim, Jim marriage. Hashtag Jim wedding. Hashtag don't forget leg day. Hashtag wrecked. Ripped. Ripped and wrecked. We're, we're not soulmates. We're swole mates. Hashtag swole mates. Hello, wife. Oh, it's a torque. Okay. Okay, nope. Now that you are Joffrey, you need to adopt uh, the policy of brushing your teeth every time you go to the bathroom. Okay, don't use that much toothpaste. It's ridiculous. You're gonna go through it quickly. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Here's the deal. You are now a Joffrey. You must dress like a Joffrey. Quite frankly, you dress like a homeless person right now. A homeless person who's very active. And I don't get the Marty McFly shoes. I don't like them. I'll be honest. Who wears high tops to the gym? Come on. You know you're not gonna work out with those shoes. 24 hours ago, I didn't know your name and now we're married. I say we don't stop this train while it's at full speed. Let's go ahead and have a baby too while we're at it. And grow it up into an adult. Just think, this is day one of my two week vacation. Go ahead, just pour that in. Let's hope the creator of this series doesn't realize he's an adult and can make brownies whenever he feels like it, because that seems like it could be a very slippery slope. I don't know if you can call to meal when the meal is brownies. What is that green thing? Did you garnish your brownies? Oh man, Rupert. I'm impressed. Rub-a-dub-dub. Rupert in a tub. Uh. Excuse me. <gasps> Take pregnancy test. $15? Better take 10, just so that the money, you know, I feel cheap having only spent $15. What's the deal? She's expecting, fantastic. Can we fast track this? Can we, can we get this thing out? Is it ready yet? Oh no. Oh, oh, that's right, he hates children. Oh, this is going to be an issue. How about this, since we need to fast track, we shall adopt a child, and then when this child is born, we'll put it up for adoption. A switcheroo, really. Look at us. Look at us. We're like two sophisticated married adults. You're painting art. I'm playing chess. This is fantastic. Life is great. Why don't I go on vacation more often? 
I should go on vacation more often. This will be great.